Here's a midday update for August 22nd, 2011. On this B10 day chart, basically we got five waves down, one, two, three, four, five, and then boom, potentially a D wave. And if you were watching my blog in the past uh, past hour, I had a chart set up, as you can see right here. It says on this, basically I said five waves down. If you can read that, um, five waves down near completion. So let me break your test under low in the next hour or two. If five waves complete, we can see a decent bounce bounce into the close, potentially a D wave or any diagonal. We got five waves down, and then boom. Pretty amazing, huh? Boom. Um, anyway, uh, on the five-day chart, go to the five-day chart. If this goes back to the highs, oh my God, this gave me a cup and handle. This, this is one of the best bottom formations ever. I love cup and handles. See how round it is? Basically, if we rally back to the highs, we have a cup, and then we're probably going to retrace and, and handle, and then boom. See that, how round it is? I love that. That's my favorite bottom formation. And the diagonal is actually my favorite, but a cup and handle, if you see them, it's amazing. But um, we need to rally back to the highs. But the worst case scenario is that we get A, B, C, D, E. We fade and close into an E wave. That's fine, too. I'm, I'm okay with that. That's a fifth wave formation. So go A, B, C, D, E, fade and close. That's cool. But if we rally back to the highs, that's cup and handle. We fade back to the lows as an ending diagonal. For the Dow, Um, same thing. Any diagonal, if you fade into the close, or cup and handle, if you rally into the close. Either either formation is a bottom formation, hopefully. <laughs> but cup and handle is, is my favorite because it's so explosive. So if you close back to the highs, look out. That's a wrap.